Okay, hello guys. I'm gonna make a video today on how to make how to make a program that will find the slope and y-intercept of two ordered pairs. So I'm going to go to File New Java Project, not Project Java Project, so we can program this in Java. And then the project name will be Graph to Tutorial. All right. So, why is there already errors in there? Oh, what? What the? Okay, yeah. Let's just. I don't know. I guess I didn't delete it from the hard drive or whatever. So, there, it, there, there's still a trace of it. So, yeah. I, I had. This is my third try at it because apparently. I accidentally hit the right arrow when mate, which is my stop. So what I did to fix that was I changed the stop and recording things to up and down arrow. So I'm going. Let we want to create a script in this program. So let's do class. This class will be called graph. Now, it won't visually show a graph, but it'll show you the slips and y-intercepts of... Oh, wait. Wait. Let me do something real quick. This will be really fast, I promise. Okay. See? That was fast. All I did was put this here. Now, we need it to... So basically, now we need to have double x of 1 because you know we're going to need this because it's two word pairs an x and a y. There's an x and a y variable in both of the ordered pairs. So this x1 represents the um, x variable in the first ordered pairs. So, basically, um, we just, we can choose a value for this, because this is the one you, this is the one you get to choose, like, this is your manipulated variable, and, uh, so then, let's create a double variable, so, oh, uh, x of 2, this is the x variable in the second order pairs. So. Double. And let's do the y coordinates. And double y2. Sorry if my voice kind of cracks up. I kind of have like a scratchy throat. It's like I just woke up this morning, and whenever I wake up with uh, allergies, it kind of turns out like that. So now we need to do make a double variable. Double rise, because you know rise over run makes a slope, right? Yeah, so, and y2 minus y1 is over x2 minus x1, so, what we need to do for y rise is make it y2 minus y1, not equals, <laughs> minus y1, so, and double run, the same thing except it's the x, x2 minus x1. Now, we're going to create an if statement because just in case, because you know there can be a no slope. So what we do is run equals equals zero, and no, that's not a typo. You have to have two equal signs when you have an if statement. Now, and let's make another bracket to show that the if and else statements go together. Not sure if that's necessary, but let's just say it is for now. And if run equals zero, then we do system dot 
out. Oh yeah, and we put the bracket, this bracket here, and this end bracket here are what happen. Anything within these is what happens if run equals zero. So system that out. Dot print ln. Um. No. What? No slope. So. Um. Wait. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was just seeing if I was still recording. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Else. Um. Yeah, we put a bracket. So we do. <coughs> Sorry if that grossed you out. <laughs> System out that print all in. <coughs> uh, slope because we want to label the slope, and then we want to label because we're going to put a white intercept, and we want the user to know what the slope and the y intercept are. So. Um. Dot, dot, print. We're gonna put another. We're gonna put another bracket because this thing over here, like within these, if you want to create a variable, like if you don't want it to print text, but you want it to print a value of a variable instead of these quotation marks, you need to have these thing, these bracket thingies. So. We want to ha ha want it to find the value of rise, so let's do rise. We need another bracket, okay. And then um, <coughs> sis, we're gonna put a dash here just to show that's a ratio. Print Ellen. And then we're going to put down run because rise over run. So, <coughs> so this is what happens if run doesn't equal zero. This is the else statement. Let me put another thing. Okay. So, what was that? Oh, yeah. Y intercept. Now, let's create another double variable. Double B. This is the Y intercept. Now, this equals negative MX plus Y. But, I, use, I did some substitute. But, since we don't have an M variable and we did use two variables instead of one, we did, let's do rise over run and then double. Wait, no, 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 the double variable. I, d I did that, yeah. Rise over one run times x. Plus Y. So now, how did I get that? Well, you know the equation Y equals MX plus B, the slope-intercept form. Yeah, I did some substituting, and I got B equals negative rise over one times X plus Y. So programming can require you to do some math. So let so this is what you get from it and now we need to put down system dot out dot print ln um alright y intercept then you can do out dot 
for it. 